Well, hello all, and welcome to the algorithmic feature video. I am dedicating this video to someone who's been very influential in my life, and that is Marty Malamud, my high school physics teacher who was amazing and fantastic at um, inspiring myself and probably thousands of others to really enjoy physics and technology, etc., etc. Um, so here we go. It's the algorithmic feature. Now, what is an algorithmic feature? An algorith algorithmic feature, not an easy word to say, is a feature that you create, you put in a library, and you get to do some amazing things that would be very, very difficult otherwise. So I made this algorithmic feature called the triangular mesh. And with triangular mesh, I can take a little surface and I can select that surface. I can uh, specify in the U and V direction how many little triangles uh, are going to be created. Um, and then there's little connectors between the triangles, um, the, um, uh, the diameter of which can be, for this example, uh, 0.25. Then there's a sphere at every vertex. And for this little example, it'll be uh, 0.5. And then I say OK. And this feature is just like any other feature like the hole, like the, uh, the block, the cube, the cylinder. Um, and it does what it's supposed to do. And then you have this piece of geometry that would be very, very difficult if you didn't have the algorithmic feature. So that's what it is. Now, the important thing that I can do is show you um, how to build one. And in the spirit of these fantastic teachers, Marty Malamud being one of them, um, in Samuel J. Tilden High School all the way back in Brooklyn in the 70s. <laughs> I'm going to very patiently um, and with um, glee um, show you how this all works. So I'm going to call this Algo, Algo 3. Okay, it's a model. It's, it's in inches and I'm going to start with a revolve feature. So I'll select the XY plane arbitrary plane. I'm going to make it fun, so I'm going to use a spline. And I'm just going to make something that uh, has a little bit of an interesting shape that would obviously be very, very difficult to uh, produce if you didn't have this algorithmic feature. Not the spline, but what we're going to do on it. I say OK. And I want this to be about five inches tall. Um, so I'm going to uh, put one dimension in here. And of course, when I put the five inches in, it scales the whole thing for me and I can finish that and I'm going to revolve this about the y-axis and uh, 180 degrees so there you go so I'm going to start with this nice little shapely piece of geometry and then in order to build the algorithmic feature you go to home more and you select algorithmic feature and it gives you a, in a sense I'm going to call it a programming environment once you enter the program environment, you have a wonderful ability to create these algorithms. And you have this area that you can place these programming blocks, if you will, and you build these nodes. So for example, here's a node called Select Face. If you double click on it, you get select face. Next, I want to create a triangular grid on this geometry. And so I look through the nodes until I find a triangular grid. And uh, let's see, here it is, triangular grid. So I double click on that and it appears there. The triangular grid is going to create curves and points. And the, on those curves, I want tubes. And so I can look into the uh, nodes that are available and find the tube command with a double click. The tube command appears. And I want spheres. There's the spheres. So I'm going to go from uh, these curves to tubes, these points, to spheres. When I create the tubes, I want to unite them all together. And so 
there is a command called unite all and I don't I know I can find it if I scroll through this list but I can also go up to here and type in unite all and then I find it here double click on it there so there's going to be a, a unite all for the tubes and a unite all for the spheres once I have those spheres and tubes uh, united I want to unite them all together and that's a boolean so I'm going to say boolean I'll search for boolean there it is double click on it and boolean appears there so this is how you construct this logical flow of uh, now that was the wrong boolean um, sorry about that let's delete that delete and I should have read it more careful but carefully boolean we need that out of there we need a different kind of boolean there it is this one here boolean that's the boolean that adds things together this is a logic boolean so get rid of that okay and at some point we're going to need to output the final the final piece and so you can right click on this little portion of the node and say output so that's going to be output okay so you've got these programming blocks if you will <clears throat> and then what you can do is you can connect them with connectors so if I click on this and click on that we're going from this select face to a face that is submitted to this triangular grid if I uh, right click on the U I can do an input there's an input of four I can do that again create an input and I'll do a four here so there'll be uh, a default value of four and four uh, the curves that are output from the triangular grid will go into the tube command like that so it's a single click and a single click and the points will go into the sphere command a single click a single click so that's how you make a connector the if I right click on this little portion of the sphere operator I could say uh, create input and so the default diameter of the sphere is going to be 0.5 going to move that over here notice how the connector follows very nicely and I can do a input for the diameter of the connector that's going to be 0.125 of course the tube comes with an inner diameter and an outer diameter the inner diameter should be 0 I made a little mistake there and the outer diameter should be 0.125 so there we have 0.125 okay so we're just building this little by little next the bodies that are created from the tube operation will be set into unite all bodies from the spheres will be set into unite all and then the bodies from the target will be set to the target of the boolean uh, the tool will go there and I'll need to right click on here to specify an operation which will be by default unite as you can see there's unite subtract and intersect available so, so that's that and now <clears throat> we have everything that we need <clears throat> excuse me to try this out so uh, before I try it out however I'm going to do a save and I'm going to give this algorithm a name the cool uh, grid so there's the name and I'm going to double click on the algorithmic uh, model logic rules uh, library I'm going to give it a description I'll just write the word test and say okay so now that's stored and will be available for me to use later and now I want to try it out so I click on select face and I actually select the face and say OK and give it a second or two and right now it's creating all these awesome 
curves and tubes and spheres and it's uniting them together and um, it's doing all the work in the background that would take me many many uh, minutes or maybe even hours and and there it is there you have it so that is a new algorithm called the gl the cool grid and then I can finish and there you have the piece of geometry and uh, and as you can see, that was really not very difficult, and it's all very logical. I'm just waiting for the final update, uh, at which time I'm going to uh, control B that surface, or even uh, I could delete it. I could move it to a different layer. So there, if you're going to create uh, the model of a stent, that, or a model of a space frame, or some sort of architectural device that's um, fantastically powerful. I think I'll give it a different color. So there you have it. To wrap it all up, um, yeah, I did a lot and um, if you want a document that kind of talks more about this and, and has more details, I'm putting um, my little inf uh, my info at designviz.com uh, email it here so if you want this model this particular model and info it does and um, the document that I've created that shows you exactly how to do this go to info at designviz.com again uh, my name is Steve Samuel from design visionaries and I do want to thank profusely my um, good old um, physics teacher from Samuel J Tilden High School I graduated in 1979. He was an incredible influencer in my life, a fantastic person. And I want you all to know how important teachers and teaching is to our society. They're the unsung heroes and the people who inspire us to do amazing things. So um, if you enjoyed this video, please uh, give it a like, uh, share it with your friends. Um, it's a privilege to be part of this community of people who do this kind of creative work and I am very, very thankful and appreciative and have a great day.